We are on the eve of 2024 Bowman Chrome. Typically, I would do wash before you buy videos, but <laughs> there's a much bigger issue at hand here. And oh my goodness, does Tops continue to make bad decisions this time over 2024 Tops Chrome Logo Fractor? Oh boy, oh boy, fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride on this one, guys. So what's going on, guys? It's Grip and Rip. And before we get into the video, let's plug up the giveaway as usual. So at 10,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away hobby packs of the newest product available at the time. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content you see on the channel. And last, but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos. That way I see you and I see your comments a lot more often. Let me know what your favorite moment this season was in the MLB and I will pick the winner once we hit the goal of 2024, 10,000. Right now we're on track to hitting 10,000 Sometime in like late October, like maybe mid-November around Thanksgiving at the latest. So that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so there's that. So <laughs> I'm going to try not to cuss up a storm in this video, but it's going to be kind of hard not to, to be honest. I mean, wow. You know, someone left a comment yesterday and they said, Grip and Rip, you got to talk about this. You got to talk about what's going on with Logo Fractor. And I said, you know what? Instead of me doing a watch before you buy, I said, you know what? Hell with it. Let's do it. As I said, I typically do watch before you buys for products. But this time around, I mean, we got Monsters, Hobbies, and Breakers Delight Scams. So... Honestly, if you want to know my watch before you buy tips for Bowman Chrome just before you get into the real meat and potatoes, just stick to eBay with the cards. Honestly, um, prices, although hobbies aren't that bad, I think they're the exact same price as last year. Um, odds for monsters are piss poor. I wouldn't chance it. Um, I'm just going to stick to eBay. Um, Paul Skeens has a rookie card. That's literally the only card I care about, quite frankly, in that product. Um, so that's definitely what I'm going to be getting on eBay. Um, but come back tomorrow. We will be going over top 10 most viable. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll definitely be doing that tomorrow. So let's get into the real news now, shall we? Oh, man. Logo Fractor. Hello, Logo Fractor. It's nice to see you come back for 2024. Logo Fractor, in case you guys don't know, the debut was in 2022. Sold out relatively quickly. It was a very, very good popular product in 2022. Last year, they did a little bit of changing around. Last year, what they did was... Let me go back to 2022 for a second. In 2022, it was on Tops.com. Sold out very, very quickly. In 2023... It is now an MLB shop New York store exclusive. So as you guys may or may not know, there's like a huge MLB store in New York City. And they have a lot of cards there. They have a card wall that's like huge. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but it's huge. And it's exclusive now to there. You can get it shipped to you and things like that. But I'll tell you one thing. It is an absolute pain in the ass. To try to get one of these boxes by calling in. Because you have to call in, place an order. You know, give them your info. And, and things like that. And it takes forever to get a hold of them. Because you're on uh, you're on like a wait. It's, it's a mess, right? Last year, people were not happy about it. Last year, the price was $70. Keep that in mind. We're going to talk about that. Don't you worry. And it was a mess. Now, let's go to 2024 the third year that this product has been around i love the idea 
of Logo Fractor. Now, basically, if you guys don't know what they do, it's basically a Bowman Chrome monster box. You get base packs, and then you get packs with, like, X Fractors, but in this case, it's the MLB logo, hence the name Logo Fractor, right? So it's very similar to a monster box of, like, regular Bowman or Bowman Chrome, specifically Bowman Chrome. And, you know, there's that. You know, Bowman Chrome monster boxes, let's just use this for an example, are $50. I want you guys to guess without actually... If you don't know yet, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section right now. I'm going to give you five seconds. Type what you think the price of this year's Logo Fractor box is. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guessed $110, you'd be fucking correct. Yes, you heard me correctly. A hundred and ten dollars, not including tax and not including shipping. So realistically, you're looking about a hundred and twenty something odd bucks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do they think that we are stupid or what? Honest to God. Now, I will say this, there will be people out there, <clears throat> quote-unquote influencers, that will hype this product up to kingdom come. Fine, let them do what they want to do. But I'm here to tell you today, and you can take my words and you can make this a promise. I can promise you right now with everything I got, this product a hundred and ten, let's say a hundred and twenty. That's realistically what it's going to be if you have it shipped to you. Now, you can go to in-store, but again, who's going to travel to New York City for a box of cards and you're not even going to be promised that it's there? Because let's be honest, I mean, the store, I believe, is like right in Times Square, I believe. I, I could be wrong. I've actually never been to New York City. That's definitely a bucket list item for me to do very soon, but I haven't actually been there. I do believe, though, it's on, like, a main street of some kind, so it's very easy to find. Who is going to pay $120 for one? And number two, I can promise you right now, if you bought one of those boxes, you are probably making no less than $20 back, give or take. Awful. Absolutely awful. Now, the odds are not revealed yet, so I honestly couldn't tell you if the product is great or not. But chances are it's not going to be. It's not going to be. Now, let's say hypothetically, the Monster Box was all Logo Fractor cards. All 50 whatever cards are Logo Fractor. That would be, you know what? That would make the pill a little bit easier to swallow. But the fact of the matter is this. You're only getting two packs, five cards each, ten Logo Fractors per box. That is it. And guess what's in the other packs? Base cards, base cards, base cards, and more base cards. Who approved this decision to make the product the way it is and charge 40 more dollars than last year. Do they think we are stupid? They must think we are. Guess what? I'm not. I see right through their bullshit. And I know my viewers do as well. I'll always say it, man. I will always say this. I have the best, smartest, and most intelligent fan base in the sports card collecting community, there is no doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'll get a couple Topps fanboys a couple times here and there saying, oh, grip and rip, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Guess what? I don't even pay them any attention, if I'm going to be honest with you. Because they're Topps fanboys, and anything I say, they'll just find something negative about what I say and type it in the comments. I don't care. But... 
97% of you, I will say, there's about 3% of Topps fanboy haters that like to comment on my channel time to time, right? For the 97% of us, we're really smart and intelligent. And I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet right now that a lot of you guys are probably not going to be buying a box of Logo Fractor. Not to even mention, and I haven't even mentioned this yet, I don't think the update rookies are going to be in there. I don't think they are. I would assume they would have promoted Paul Skeens, and Paul Skeens is not on the box. There's a bunch of players, but all of the rookies are from Series 1 and Series 2, like Jason Dominguez is on the front, and, and people like that. So, I'm willing to bet that the Series 2, or I should say the update rookies, like Paul Skeens, are not going to be in this product, which to me... As a Pirates fan, already a ginormous X I am not buying. And I am certainly not buying for 110 with tax and shipping about 120-something bucks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I've told you, man. I told you loud and clear. I said this months ago. I said... Every product after Chrome was going to be increased. And guess what happened ever since Chrome? Chrome increased. Bowman Chrome semi-increased. What else was increased? Finest increased. Pro Debut increased. What's next? What is next? I couldn't tell you. I can't tell you what's next because Topps is so inept with releasing baseball cards in a timely manner, we really don't know what the rest of 2024 holds. We know that update comes out in about, I would say, a month to five weeks from now. We know that. But other than that, where's Stadium Club? Stadium Club might be 170 bucks a box for all I know. Chrome Update Hobby Boxes might be 250 for all I know. Who knows? Who knows? Do you don't think they're not going to capitalize off the Paul Skeens hype? Come on, let's use some common sense here. Bowman Draft could very well be increased. Who knows? Allen and Ginter, 120 bucks. Who's to say it's not 150 this year? Very realistic possibility. Archives. I had someone in the comment section today ask me about archives. Archives, a fan favorite. To me, I pulled the 101 Stan the Man Usual out of archives in 2022. It's sitting right here next to me right now. Right? Fan favorite of mine. Autographs typically aren't the best, but if you hit a big one or a big parallel, makes the box back, right? Somewhat. Nothing about it. I had a subscriber ask me today, do you know anything about archives? And I said, I don't know a thing. It's supposed to be coming out, but with how inept Tops is and this the sheer stupidity they're trying to pull, I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect. I don't. We are in the most unprecedented time in sports card history. I continue to say it every single time I talk about things like this. We are in the darkest of darkest times in baseball card history. I'll tell you one thing, and I'm going to save this for a, a different video. I just want to leave you off with this because I'll tell you one thing right now. I talked to my card guy the other day when I went to go get pro debut, and I'll tell you this. Card stores are even pissed off at Tops and Fanatics. I'll tell you this right now. There was a Zoom call that these card stores participated in, I guess, with Fanatics representatives or, or whatever. They voiced their frustrations big time with Fanatics and Tops over lack of, of product. Good. Absolutely good. Everyone needs to come together to achieve a common goal and call out their shit. It needs to happen. We must put this to a stop. And it starts, it starts with not buying Logo Fractor. I'll tell you right now, 
Do not buy Logofractor. That might even be the title of the video. I have no idea. But for $110, there is a lot better things you can buy with $110. I can promise you that. For 10 Logofractor cards and that's it? Really? I could see maybe if the entire box was Logofractor cards, but it's not. It's two little packs, and the rest of the packs you get just base cards in. I'll tell you, man, these decisions they make, it makes it really, really hard to be a baseball card collector. It really does. And it's sad because I see a lot of comments on a daily basis saying that my son is leaving the hobby. He only collected cards for like a couple months to a year. He's done now. That stuff breaks my heart. As a baseball card collector, I have been collecting cards, right? I'm going to be 23 in November. 23 years, November 6th. That's my birthday. I have been collecting cards since I believe I was the age of six. So this will be 17 years of me collecting baseball cards. And now in today's hobby, we have kids leaving within months. That like that breaks my heart because that just shows you that a cards are maybe not as appealing to the younger generation as they were to us and b prices might have a problem with that. I mean, as a let's say 16-year-old who just got his first job, I'll use my experience for an example. I got my first retail job I was working at Dunkin' Donuts, which honestly wasn't the best job in the world. I kind of liked it, though, because I got to eat a lot of donuts. I'm a big sweets guy. I like to eat a lot of donuts. So honestly, it wasn't that bad. But, um, you know, I didn't make a lot. The, min the minimum wage when I worked when I was 16 was $7.50. Now it's like, what, $15 an hour or something like that? Pretty crazy, right? I couldn't buy all the cards I wanted in the world because, quite frankly, didn't make that much. And with how bad the inflation is in today's world, and people can't afford bread, milk, eggs, housing, gas, you name it, sometimes people just have to say, you know what, I have to put the cards aside and worry about other things. That's a different problem as well. That's a whole different beast. Baseball cards truly have become a luxury item. This is not a poor man's game no more. I, I've been saying that too for a while. This is not a poor man's game no more. For the rich people. The rich get richer. And the poor people can't can't buy the cards. That's just how it goes. And it sucks. It needs to end. It needs to end. It needs to end. Simple as that. And it starts with saying F off to Logo Fractor. If you want to buy Logo Fractor, buy the cards you want on eBay. And that is that. Don't buy them at MLB Shop in New York. Don't place an order online or none of that. Buy the cards you want on eBay and call it a day and that's that. But for me as a Pirates fan, I quite frankly don't have to worry because Paul Skeens is probably not going to be in the product. So honestly, could care less. But for the people that do, that's my thoughts. So either way, guys, enough of the ranting. I'm literally giving myself a headache just by screaming. That's all I got for you. That is all I got for you today, guys. So before we open a pack of Pro Debut... Let me tell you about today's sponsor of the videos. So this video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. And we have partnered up to deliver savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below. Download the app today. Use my promo code Grip and Rip. That is promo code Grip and Rip at checkout. And you're going to save $20 off your first purchase big deal very very big deal so if you never purchased through seat geek obviously there's still like three weeks left in the mlb season get yourself some tickets you know grab some popcorn or something enjoy a game or if you want to go to a football game or a hockey season starts in like two three weeks you know you could do that as well so big thank you to seat geek for sponsoring me absolutely love the work over there they do the numbers for my promo code, because I could see like a, a chart. Very good this year, man. Very, very good numbers. So big thank you to all you guys who've used my code. Appreciate every single one of you. 
And um, if you use my code, let me know. Because I'll tell you one thing. There's a lot of people who use my code who don't tell me. And I would love to give you a shout-out. But you just got to let me know. I can't give you a shout-out if I don't know. So I'm going to try to open this pack of Pro Debut here. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. So let's see here. Let's see. We're still looking for an autograph, man. We're still looking for our first autograph. It doesn't look like it's coming here. So let's see. We still have a lot of packs left, but man, I would love to see an autograph pulled, man. Give me the autograph. Where's the autographs, man? Blake Mitchell, that's not a bad one. Shim, he's not even on the Pirates anymore. You know, we'll do one more pack. We'll do one more pack. I hate doing two packs in this a day because gotta try to save some uh, packs for update, which update, I mean, who even knows when that's coming out? Honest, honestly, who even knows when that's coming out? But uh, should be about... I would say five weeks from now. I don't know. It's going to be like the second or third Wednesday in October. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to try to open this without ripping these cards because the glue they use to make these packs, I will say, is literally like insane. So let's see here. Um, I don't know. You know, I heard, I heard. You can tell if you have an autograph or not by looking at the thickness of the cardstock. Do I see any thick cards? I don't really... I can't tell. I can't really tell. I don't know. Let's just hope. Let's just see. If we get one, we get one. We don't, we don't. Let's see here. I do see a backwards card, though. I think that's a backwards card. So a parallel, maybe, of some kind? Let's see here. We'll... We'll go from the back. We'll see here. Because this might be a parallel. In, I, I, I'm willing to bet it probably is. Maybe. So let's see here. Oh, there it is. It's an autograph. Blade Tidwell. Looks to be a pitcher. Yeah, pitcher. So there is the Rumble Ponies. Rumble Pony is one of the best names in the minor leagues. Um, don't really know much about him, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. He looks to be for the Mets, FCL Mets. So, yeah, it's definitely the Mets. So, all right, cool. First autograph down. So, it looks like, for all you guys opening pro debut, the backwards cards, if you pull a backwards card, looks like the backwards card is going to be the autograph. So, FYI to all you pro debut buyers. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Eh, not bad. Hopefully we pull one decent autograph. That's what I'm hoping for. That one's probably like a five buck autograph. So we'll see. Um, I should expect at least one higher end autograph. So we'll see. I don't know. Or I can just get shit on. Either way, guys, that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.